morning everyone. Colton and I have been working pretty hard on this trailer. We uh, had some trouble taking off the U-bolts off the axle. Um, but we got the axle all off. It's all been painted and ready to go back in. I've got a few other little short clips that I'll try to, to put together into a video that uh, kind of shows us what we were doing and uh, the parts we needed to order and things like that. So uh, we'll get the camera a little closer and show you what we've got done and what we've been doing and, and uh, get this axle and the brakes and everything back together today. Alright, here's the springs. We uh, got them all cleaned up and wire brushed off and painted up. Here's, a, here's that pin. It's kind of dusty. But this pin was in the other direction. That bolt was on the bottom and uh, so we had to spin that around, put a clamp on it and spun it around. So now we have a half inch pin sticking out of the bottom. Now if that half inch pin will set it right here on this axle. We had to re-drill this hole in the top of the axle because the original was on the bottom and I didn't want to flip the axle completely over like that because it would have put it way too high, the trailer too high off the ground. The way we're doing it, it's going to raise it about four inches. So, and I think that'll be plenty. But yep, had to redrill that. And so that's how we're going to put it back on. It's just like this. Okay, here's some of the parts that we've had to get. We got two new backing plate brake assemblies. They've got brand new magnets on them. This was the the cheapest way to go. We uh, I had to get uh, new wheel bearings right here for this one. New wheel seals. The wheel seals were shot. And then we've got uh, brand new U-bolts to put the axles on with. So we've had to wait for all that stuff to come in, ordered it online. Some of the stuff we got at the parts house. But uh, yeah, now we can get get going on this axle and, and getting everything back together. Here's the pile of old stuff we've been taking off. All the magnets on these were burnt out. Wheel bearings, this set of wheel bearings was, uh, looked like it had been setting in some water. They were rougher than heck. So, Alrighty, well, we'll get Colton and we'll start putting this axle back in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this axle in now, and uh, we'll just let you sit back and, and watch us while we do it. Okay, we had a hard time lining up the little pin, but we finally got it. So everything's all lined up there now, and Colton's going to go ahead and start putting these uh, U-bolts in here. I'll get you a wrench.
there you can see that uh, the U-bolts are coming in from the underside of the axle and coming up when originally they was came down over the top of the axle. And so this will uh, now let that trailer ride a little higher moving the axle underneath the uh, spring. Maybe a socket would work better. and then go back and tighten them again. That way they'll draw them up nice and even. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, here we're doing the other side. And uh, basically the same thing, just put the bolts in, tighten them back and forth until they're even. And uh, I don't know what the torque specs are supposed to be, so we'll do it the uh, shop dog Sam way and just go ahead and tighten them down tight enough. All right, we'll let Colton do this and then I'll get you a picture when we're all done.